Hi, welcome back to Stories at Work, a series where I share real stories from across the world that you can use when you're driving home a business point. On our website and on our YouTube channel, we already have over a hundred stories and we are adding one every week. So if you want to be an altered communicator, a more impactful communicator, do subscribe. Here is today's story. Now we all know that MS Dhoni loved outsmarting the opposition with his quick thinking, innovative field placement and clever bowling changes. But he also knew how to keep errant teammates in line without having to raise his voice in anger ever. In his book, The Barefoot Coach, India's mental conditioning coach, Paddy Upton, revealed how MS Dhoni ensured that his colleagues were never late for training or for team meetings. Paddy Upton, who is again the mental conditioning coach of the current Indian T20 cricket team playing the World Cup down under, joined the Indian coaching staff in 2008. At that time, Anil Kumle was the captain of the test team and MS Dhoni was the captain of the ODI team. A lot of players, both in the test and the ODI team, were often late for practice and team meeting. Clearly, something needed to be done. The teams at the time had a self-governing process. This meant that the team management always consulted with the team before taking any key decision. So, to address the discipline issue, the team manager asked the team, is it important to be on time for practice and team meetings? Of course, everyone said, yes, it is. So next, they were asked by the team management, if anyone is not on time, should there be a consequence? While the players agreed that there must be a consequence, they couldn't agree what that consequence should be. So they decided to delegate it upstairs and leave it up to the captains to take a call. In the test team, Anil Kumble decided that the consequence would be that any player who was late would have to pay a fine of 10,000 rupees. However, later that day, the same conversation happened with the one-day team and MS Dhoni. And Dhoni said, yes, there should be a consequence. If somebody is late, every member of the team would pay a fine of 10,000 rupees each. Now, Paddy shares that nobody was ever late from the one-day team ever again. Now, this experience of Paddy Upton with the Indian cricket team resonated in an experiment described in Stephen Levitt's book, Freakonomics. A rogue economist explores the hidden side of everything. The year, 2004, the place Haifa, a town in Israel. The manager who looked after several daycare centers was having a problem. Even though there was a clearly stated policy that children were supposed to be picked up by 4 p.m., some parent or the other was always late. The result, at day's end, there were some very anxious children and at least one teacher that had to wait around for the parents to arrive. Now, a pair of economists who heard of this dilemma offered a solution that really didn't need someone who was in Thomas. They suggested that the daycare centers find the tardy parents. Why, after all, should the daycare centers take, you know, these kids for free? The economists decided to test their solution by conducting a study of 10 daycare centers. The study lasted 20 weeks. Now, the fine was not introduced immediately. For the first four weeks, the economists simply kept a track of the number of parents who came late. The result, there were on an average eight late pickups per week per daycare center. Now, in the fifth week, the fine was introduced in six daycare centers. It was announced that any parent arriving more than 10 minutes late would pay $3 per child for each incident. The fine would be added to the parent's monthly bill, which was roughly about $400. Now, after the fine was enacted, the number of late pickups dramatically changed. They went up. Now, before long, in the six daycare centers where the experiment was being conducted, there was 20 late pickups per week per daycare center. No change happened in the other four where the fine wasn't done. 
Now, this number was double the original average. The incentive plan had clearly backfired. Now, in the past, being late meant relying on the generosity of one teacher who would inevitably stay late to look after the child. Now, being late meant facing the same teacher and having to apologize to her for the inconvenience of waiting. And avoiding the guilt of inconveniencing the teacher was a great incentive. But as soon as the parents had the option to pay a small fine and avoid that guilt, they took it en masse. This was now a transaction. After all, they were compensating the daycare teacher. An incentive is simply a means of urging people to do more of a good thing and less of a bad thing. Now, we often forget that there are three basic flavors of incentives, economic, social, and moral. Now, the best incentives are those that combine economic, social, and moral elements. And MS Dhoni understood this very well. If you were late for team meetings or training, the economic cost was you lost 10,000 rupees. The social cost was that the whole team knew who the defaulter was. And the moral incentive was not to allow other teammates to suffer for your laziness or lack of discipline. So think about the incentives or disincentives incentives that you put in place in your team and in your organization or even in your home for your children. Are they all only economic or have you thoughtfully looked at social and moral incentives as well? I hope you love these two stories and if you did, do share it with your friends and like this video. For a great business example of moral incentive working, you can head over to our Leader Speak, uh, Leader Speak playlist and listen to our Gopalakrishnan narrate a beautiful story about the moral incentive. The episode is uh, season one, episode 19. Happy listening. Now, as many of you know, the StoryWorks YouTube channel has two playlists. The Story Bank playlist, which already has 55 stories containing stories like the two that I just shared. Real incidences that you can share to drive home a business point. The other playlist is called Leader Speak. In that channel, we have videos where leaders have shared stories that have created opinions they have. And if you are sharing the same opinion with your team or driving home a similar message, you could use that story too. So go ahead and use stories to increase your impact. See you next week. Thanks for watching.